got too late. Now, but why are you pissing in the sink? Because of the best way. Uh, the only place to do it. Where do you go? The bathroom. Well, see, there's no bathroom here. Your nephew. What about my nephew? Can I trust him? Of course you can trust him. My nephew, right? He's telling the truth? He's going to tell you the truth no matter where he goes. Okay. And you relinquished everything to him? I will. If you, if you, if you, if you can't handle it, I can handle it for you. I do the whole thing, so help me God. I do it as if, as if it was my... No, no, no. You're okay right where you are. And thank Good. you. I appreciate your trust. I appreciate your faith. But the thing is, you understand that I appreciate you much more because I know about you and you've been doing it for some time. We've always been friends. I believe you. Well, I don't remember. I may never see you again. What do you find out? Well, You're gonna run. <laughs> I love that tie. Thank you. You're gonna be okay? You all right here? I'm okay here. God, how the days but you fly. Do, you do, you do some terrific work for me. Yeah, I know. And I'll appreciate it. I appreciate we work it. together terrifically. I never was terrific without you. Is that right? That's right. Well, I had to be with you to be terrific. You're nice, but I mean, I Albert, felt... a great deal of what is owed to me. Yeah? Owed to me. I've forgotten. Yeah, all right. I want to remember is that yeah. that you've given to me. You're damn right. That's all right. That's everybody all right. treated me and did for me what you've done, it'd be a better world. I agree with you. I agree with you. You'll be happy here, Albert. Yeah, I think so. I'm glad you're here. I mean, I'm not glad you're here, but I'm glad, kind of. I agree with you. That you're here. You always did agree with me. Always. Okay. This is a nice place. My friend, I love you. Thanks. I really, really think that uh, you... Why, why do you go by the Why are you going so fast? I gotta leave. I gotta leave because... I, I got places you. to go, you know? Yeah, well, you gotta... You just remember one thing, okay? Yeah. You were my best friend. Always will be, always were. Say hello. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Tell me something. Did you talk to your father? <laughs> huh? Uh, yeah, a little while ago. Did you? Yeah. Huh? Who's this? This is Jimmy. This is Jimmy Dean. Jimmy Dean. <laughs> this Jimmy. is my uncle Joe. How are you? Nice to meet you. How are you this guy? Association. Okay. Who's playing? Okay. You're playing the guitar. We're both uh, playing. We're both playing uh, a little music we're working on. Yeah, music. That's music. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Get him a glass of wine. This is a good surprise, huh? <laughs> to your brother? My brother. Yeah, my brother's around. Where is he? Oh, he's out. He's out. You know, he's he's, out. he's got a million things going on. Uh, he's out. Smoking a cigarette. Yeah. It's just no, don't smoke. It bothers me. Yeah. Put it up, please, Jimmy. Bad for you. Yeah. Jimmy, put it up. Please. Bad for you. I know, but it quit in a couple of years. Sit down. Smoking uh, marijuana? It's incense. Is it? Yeah, candles, excited candles. That's no good for you, you know. Look at this, let me sit here beside you. Candles? Yeah, and that's oh, what the other say. stuff. La Merda, the shit. Look at that mat. Show me where part of Sicily our family's from. Agrigento. Never forget that. Say it again. Agrigento. Go ahead, go and point to it. That's where your father and I come from. Agrigento. Palm trees. Gotta go back. What are you gonna do there? Buy a piece of land. Piece of land? Retire. You know? Everything is 1920? Where do you get the money to buy the land? One day, one day when I got a lot of it to spend, yeah. you know? I'm what doing do you okay. do for a living? We play music. You're my godchildren, you and your brother, right? Yeah. Are you twins? 
You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. Okay, keep smoking that shit, you'll forget it. Yeah, I, you know Uncle Joe. Oh, so that's what you do? You're twin brothers and that's what you do? No, you no, get no. off on that or something? If this was mine, I'd take responsibility for it. We don't know that yet. That's why we're trying to clarify this, okay? Whatever, I'm not... this, this is so sick. You got a guy's girlfriend? No, I ain't got a girlfriend, but... You go out with girls? Yeah, go out with girls. girls. Hey, come on, Italian girls in Los Angeles is like a needle in a haystack. Come really? On. Yeah. But you know, once in a while I get lucky, you know, find a nice one. But then she gets too, you know, crazy and takes off, gets caught up in the whole scene. That's how it is out here. Hey. hey. <laughs> uh, what, that's all you can uh, do is... What? What? Come here. How are you? No, but how are you? Holy, look at you. Come on in. Come, come in, come in, come in. It's your friend. Come on in, honey. Sorry. This is my nephew. Come on, this is my Uncle Joe. What's this is my name? Barbara. How are you, Barbara? Well, anything. This is your brother, right? Your this, twin brother, yeah. I can see. Well, I have a two-year-old daughter. Yeah. And one of these clowns, one of these twins, hey. is hey. the is the father of my child. What? Hey. Exactly on, what I just said. How do you know that? And I want, I want blood How do you tests. know that? Because I was at a party, and I... One of these guys slipped something in my drink. I went out. I woke up in bed. Hey. I went home. Are you kidding me? I mean, like, hey, come on. Serious? Like, serious? The, I'm serious. It's a joke. It's funny joke on me. You know that I'm coming here? Is that no, it? we didn't. She, come on, the truth. Not for nothing, Uncle Joe. She's, she's crying. Not for nothing. She's crying. She's she's crying. She's she's crying. Yeah, she's crying fucking rape here, and I don't want to be fucking... Excuse me. That's any. interesting. That Betty, why are you bringing this in her house? Here. Why? Hold it. Hold it. I don't want to tell you again, okay? I'm doing the talking here. For the three of us, okay? And maybe him. Do you know him? I, I don't okay, know him, good. but... Have you taken blood tests? I want blood tests. You haven't done it yet? I couldn't find them. So right now you're making an accusation. You, all you gotta do is go to the hospital and get a blood test. They have to get the blood test, and I don't know where they are. You get so the tell them test. to get the blood test. I don't know about this. I never did this. Uh, yeah, I get to match blood, I guess, yeah, that would be a procedure, All right? right? So we'll take it to the hospital and get blood tests, right? right? Now what happens? happens? And then in the meantime, I want my rent paid for and I need a car. But I gotta get the money tonight. I got a three-day notice on my door. You don't gotta door. get anything tonight. I gotta get the money tonight. I got a three-day notice on my Excuse door. Me. I need $500 Excuse for my landlord. Excuse me. You gotta give it to me. Excuse I have a two-year-old kid. Excuse me. You know what it's Excuse like to have a two-year-old kid? I got nobody Excuse to help me. Excuse me. You don't come here and you don't shake anybody down. Or anything. I'm not shaking now, I've you down. I've acquiesced to your wish. We're going to do what it is you want. You. And you. Come on. This lady is claiming that one of you guys knocked her up. I know. No. I don't believe any good woman will go around making that kind of an accusation, okay? So I tend to side with you. Okay? Maybe this is on my touch. 762 know. I know. I wouldn't touch her. Look at her. Uh, okay. What does that no, mean? Allen. I wouldn't touch or look Ms. at Allen. her. Miss Allen. Allen, listen to me. I don't care what you think about me. Miss Allen, you're here for me. Now. I don't know you. I don't think nothing about you. Wait, right? and what, you, you, what? I'm not if good enough her, for you. you her, huh? If you don't know her, why are you talking to her? I'm not good enough. If you don't know her, why are you talking to her? Why are you revealing something no, that I don't know? Let me tell you something. You smart ass. Is that what you're doing? You want to know something? You taste the meat. You shut the fuck up. I call the cops right now. And get your ass for the rest of your life for child support. But because I don't want scum like you in my daughter's life, I'm not gonna go to the police. Okay? Because of that reason. Because you're a piece of shit. A little tiny piece of fucking shit. I want you two guys to know one thing. I have never experienced anything like that in my life, in my family, or with anybody that I know closely. Do you understand that? That's the biggest fucking disgrace you can bring in anybody. You see that poor woman? Do you know what she's going through? Huh? She's full of shit. Full of shit? She's full of shit. We'll soon find out, won't we? Yeah, well, she's yeah. full of shit. I would know. I mean, come on, Uncle Joe. I, 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 oh, you know who's full of shit? I'm, I, I, Listen to me. You know what's full of shit here? You. Come all this way to find this boy Dalo here. This 
porcaria. Huh? You guys are my godchildren. Your grandchildren are my father. Please sit down, would you please? You bring shame in the family. the band when Johnny Hodges was on? Yeah, it? man. I saw that one of the times I saw him with the great Johnny Hodges. What was his Paul nickname? Gonzalez. What was his nickname? I don't know. I forgot, man. Tell me. Rabbit. Rabbit. Ah, yeah. Ben Webster? Ben Webster. Was the great nickname? tenor player. Hell of a cat, man. What tenor saxophone. Uh, I don't know, man. The I Brute. The Brute. Yeah. Oh, man. And the, the great trumpet player, Cat Anderson. They yeah. called him the Cat. Yeah. That's his nickname. What kind of music do you play in your group? Chamber music. Bach, Vivaldi, Telemann, Handel, period stuff. Uh -huh. 17th century. Baroque. Baroque, royal, yeah. kings, yeah. elegant. Yeah. Played for the royal family of Monaco when Grace Kelly died. Oh, wow. Yeah, man. Met Prince Rene, Renier, Renier. Renier. Renier, yeah, yeah. babe. You know what's happening. How about this, babe? Yeah. Is a little good red. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, man. Shoot. You you open that yeah, game? man. Let me, let me give you a shot there. Yeah, yeah man. So. Yeah, all right. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah, man. That's cool, man. I just saw Jaquette over at the village, man. And, uh, Illinois Jaquette. Oh man, what a beautiful. He's still around. He's still around, man. He's been living in Paris or Sweden for the last 20 years, man. No, he's been in New York. He's been in New York. Yeah. Okay, well, I, to I was told he was in Sweden. No, you're thinking of Dexter Gordon. I might be thinking of Dexter. He came he back. Ah. Oh, man. man, I saw Dexter a couple of times, man. What Webster, a beautiful. Ben Webster died, man, in, in Denmark. Oh, in Denmark. Mm -hmm. Man, it's so good to see you, babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna have some of this? Yeah, yeah. man, I'll have a shot with you. Let's toast, man. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm very health conscious, man. Yeah, yeah. Trying to keep it right. You know, getting older, gotta watch the prostate, all that, the colon. Yeah, well, I already went through the prostate thing. Man. Oh, did you, man? Oh, wow, man, what a drag. Ten years ago. I yeah. lost my dick in Rome, man. Oh, man. I gotta have another glass of wine on that. You live here alone? Yeah, man. I've been here since it was built in 85. Really? Yeah. Collect a lot of art, traveled all over the world, bought a lot of paintings, you know, African sculptures. These are the Bangwas from not from, from Cameroon. They're worth about a million six. Really? Yeah. All this stuff insured? Yeah, man, I got it insured, man. I thought one day I might let somebody steal it and collect the insurance money. Well, yeah, that can happen. Yeah, you think you can assist me with that kind of thing? I don't know. I don't deal with that. Ah, uh, okay. I'm not here to talk about cutthroats, bricks. I'm not here to talk about Duke anymore, Harry Sweets Edison, Ben Webster, Lester Young, Frank Sinatra, Muhammad Ali, Duke Ellington. I'm here to talk about you. All right, man. That's that's good. What do you want to know, man? I want to know what you did with the money you were supposed to pay Johnny Alto's nephew. Seventy-five thousand dollars. Now look at. Before you say anything, understand that I know everything you're gonna say. I know the truth, and I want to hear the truth. I don't want to hear any lies. All right? Because my life is very precarious at the moment. 
and I don't want yours to be. So a line could make your life very fucking tenuous, as they say. I need the money that you have, that you hit, to use the word that you stole. 75 large, and I need it soon. Well, I'm sorry to tell you that I don't have the money. I'm working on, I'm working on trying to get it. The check in which they gave me turned out to be counterfeit. It was a cashier's check and it turned out to be counterfeit and I owe the bank 50,000. And the check came from Belgium. It took nine days for the bank to tell me that it was no good. I spent a lot of money, I bought a Jag, I bought a lot of stuff. When I spent, I bought a new wardrobe. Don't I look good, man? I look like a million dollars, babe? Yeah. Yeah, well. I hear nothing but fucking troubles. Everybody's got big problems. Why, what is, what, what's going on? You took 75 fucking thousand dollars. You stashed it. Now you're telling me something about a check in Belgium. First of all, a cashier's check cannot bounce. All right? And you don't look good. You look like a fucking head waiter at the Cotton Club. All right? Now, where the fuck is the money? The money? All right? I bought a few things, like I said. What? I bought a Jag. All right. How much is that worth? The check bounced. The Jag is worth about 35000 Sell it. Give me the fucking money. What else can you sell? What about the picture here at New Orleans? It's still for sale. I didn't send it to Belgium. The check turned out to be counterfeit. A counterfeit cashier's check. Damn it, I'm gonna give you a piece of art. I'll give you a, a piece of art that's worth a hundred grand. You How about that? Good. Yeah, Good. give me a piece of art worth a hundred grand. Good. How about the bungwas from Cameroon? Good. Yeah. Yeah, man. Who can I sell them to? Oh, sell them any place in the world. Sell them to the, to the Louvre in, in, in Europe, the museum. I'll tell you what, Port. Sell them to the Smithsonian. Sell them to, it's all over. Boy, listen to me. Why don't you do that? Because, yeah, don't look good me walking into them joints with a picture under my arm or a Cameroon, whatever the fuck it is. You sell it, because you know more about it than I do. I All do. I'm interested in is the bottom line. What is it worth? Because my life depends on what you're going to do for me. Well, man, if you don't know nothing about art, then hell, I'll sell it. And I'll get you your, your, your damn money. And, and, and balance everything, man. But first, I need to pay the bank, too. I told you, they fronted me some money. So I owe you and the bank. What's wrong with that? That's too many people, babe. What? That's too many people I owe. I owe you some money, and I owe the bank some money. The check was counterfeit. Or again with the counterfeit. Listen to me. Man, my account is negative. 50 Gs, babe. Get up. Listen to me. Order. You give me $75,000 by noon tomorrow. I ain't staying out of that much fucking longer because number one, I may be dead. Number two, you don't give me the fucking money, maybe you're dead. Thanks for the wine. I'll give you a, a piece of art that's worth a hundred grand. How about that? Yeah, give me a piece of art worth a hundred grand. Whew. I might end up in a coffin somewhere underneath a car. I'm gonna work on it. Do nothing till you hear from me. Duke Ellington. Yes, right. This book is gonna rip off the lid people in the Canadian government have been doing business with the mob in my part of America. Corruption at a federal level, gun running, drug smuggling, cocaine rings, international cartels. If you think the thing is big in Colombia, you should see what happens between Buffalo and Toronto. Okay? I have access to all that. All those things that you talk about corruption and the cocaine in Toronto, Buffalo and all that, uh, in Canada, and the, you know, that's really interesting. And uh, frankly, in these amoral times, Oliver North was running drugs and Noriega and all that shit was going, everybody knows all this shit. So it's, it's interesting and I want it in the book, that's not what will break it loose. I can even supply a list of potential fucking victims that I know about. I will give you the book, I'll give you stories, I'll give you characters. This is a book that no one, no one ever wanted me to write. And I'm going to write it. Because I know where the bodies are buried. I know where the thoughts lie.
okay? All right. I know the faults mm -hmm. and I know the good things. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, some things touch me, like getting your wife to Italy. Yeah, there, there's a lot of drugs in this neighborhood. It, it's, it's L.A., you know? It, it's Hollywood. It, it, their drugs are everywhere. Everything's everywhere, Uncle Joe. But I'm smart, you know? I'm smart. I have a good head on my shoulders. I remember everything you ever told me or taught me, and I'm taking care of myself. I'm not getting into any kind of trouble. Sometimes you go off into the blind, into the wild snow of the day. You never know what month it is until you realize that you wake up one morning and life has changed, and that's what happens. I want you to always remember that, okay? Um, Where do you work? How um, can you afford all these rugs? I, um, I, I also wait, I wait, trust me, I wait tables. <clears throat> How much did that rug cost? That was a gift, actually. From who? Some wealthy Iranian rug? No. <laughs> No. And I know what you do. Okay? You don't know that. You bring a lot of bad things to the table of life. Why are you doing this? What am I telling you? I said, why are you doing this? Why am I doing this? Because I promised your aunt that I would look in on you. Huh? I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to walk out of here and walk out of your life. And if I ever see you again, you look the other way. Because if our eyes meet, you're going to drop dead of poison. Hey, you I didn't come here. I didn't come here for you to tell me about your business plan. I came here to see you because your father wanted me to see you, and I wanted to see you too, OK? You're doing a lot of asking. You're doing a lot of wrong things. People are getting nervous about you. You can't go in the restaurant business because you don't know what you're doing. It's different here than back home. I'm not opening up a place that's going to have Peugeot and Bio Parmesan. It's going to be here. They don't go for that in California. They don't go for that in Los Angeles. What they go for is, uh, is the authentic stuff. They eat hay over here. Don't you understand that fucking straw? These people graze out here. Uh, that, that, that's, that, What's the matter with you? Because you're not giving me a chance, you know what I mean? You just, you know, you're just like my father. You're just so, you know, I, I'm just knocking whatever I want to do. What do you think I left for? How's the old man doing? He's dying, Pat. From what? Big C. Big Get the C. fuck out of here. What? what do you mean? You mean the big C? What are you talking about? Your father has stroke cancer. What are you talking about? How can he? What do you, what do you mean? My, my, my mother would have told me that. You asked me. No. I told my you. mother would have told me. Why didn't my mother tell me? I speak to my mother every day. Me and the old man don't talk, but me and my mother speak every she day. She wouldn't tell you because she's your mother. What the? What you... Okay. I'm sorry. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean you're sorry? I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? What... I'm sorry. How bad is it? I'm sorry. How bad is it? Bad enough for me to say I'm sorry.
Mm. Yeah, my sister's getting a divorce. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. Is this the third time? How many times is that? Second. Second. Okay. Which way? Um, all the way down to La Cienega and take a left. You were a little baby when I met you, you know that? Wasn't that? Yes, you were. And then listen. I was doing a thing with the old man down there, doing things all the time. Straight. New Orleans, Tampa. Number <laughs> six. Is he sick or he just can't remember? Who <laughs> told you? Nobody told me. How do you know? Because I've been around him, he can't remember. Before he went out to um, to live in uh, Calabasas. Just where's that? Don't you want any of that? I have to ask you one thing, okay? Have you heard anything? Any rumors? Mm -hmm. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Is that okay? I mean, is that enough? You would tell me. Mm -hmm. You would tell me. Oh my God! Yeah, about what? What am I talking about? I'm more rumors. Yeah, well, maybe I did. Tell me what it is. Because you know, I forget too. What do you know? What do you know?